Welcome to this lesson on basic flying and navigation of the SU-27. This lesson will teach you how to get from point A to point Z and all points in between. I currently have the lesson in active pause. If you wish, you can turn on cockpit lighting by pressing L. Your airspeed is indicated at the top left corner of the HUD. The horizontal line below the airspeed indication with the carrot below it indicates your acceleration or deacceleration. If the carrot is on the left side of the line, you are deaccelerating. If it is in the center, your speed is not changing, and if it is on the right side of the line, you are accelerating. The smaller number above is your set airspeed for that leg of the route when you're in navigation mode. Press the spacebar to continue. Your altitude in meters is indicated in the top right corner of your HUD. An R to the right indicates it is radar altitude or height above ground and not barometric height above sea level altitude. The smaller number above is your desired barometric altitude for that leg of the route. Press the spacebar to continue. You probably notice a circle in the center of the HUD. This provides you course steering to the next waypoint. By flying the aircraft to align the circle in the center of the bank and pitch indicator in the center of the HUD, you will reach your next destination on the course line. The course line is the direct line between two waypoints. Press the spacebar to continue. In the bottom center of your front dash is a horizontal situation indicator, or HSI, that looks like a compass. The yellow needle points directly to your next waypoint, and the top left field indicates the range of kilometers to that waypoint. The top right field indicates your course bearing to reach the next waypoint. The double white needles points to your course intercept. When you're on course to the next waypoint, both the yellow and white needles will align. Press the spacebar to continue. Ahead of you are a series of gates to fly through. Fly through the first gate directly ahead of you. You can push the control stick forward to push the nose down and dive, or pull back the stick to raise the nose and climb. These inputs control your elevator. Use the throttle, or page up and page down, to control your thrust. Try to keep your airspeed around 620 kilometers per hour. Press the spacebar when you're ready, and I will unpause the lesson. Note that when you pass through a gate, the next one's sequence will become larger if it's rather far away. If you get too fast, reduce the throttle and toggle your air brakes by pressing B. The next gate is above you and to the left. To change your heading, use your aircraft's ailerons to roll the aircraft to the left by moving your control stick to the left and then gently pulling back on the stick until you are aligned with the next gate. The next two gates are below you and to the right. This time, roll the aircraft to the right and lower your nose to fly through the gates. Fly through the next gate directly ahead. As you go faster, your nose will want to rise, and as you go slower, the nose will want to fall. To keep your nose level, try using the trim. To trim the nose up, press right control and period. To trim the nose down, press right control and semicolon. Keep flying through the gates ahead. As mentioned in the previous lesson, you can also move your nose side to side using the rudder called yaw. Yaw left by pressing Z and yaw right by pressing X.
In the lower center of the HUD, you can see the range indication to the next waypoint. You have two primary autopilot modes that can be quite useful during long flights. These include Altitude Hold, H, Route Follow, A. You also have several others that you can read about in the SU-27 manual. Let's try Route Follow Mode that will automatically fly our flight plan. Press A to enter Route Follow Mode. Good. The aircraft is now under autopilot control. On the right side of the front cockpit is the Heads Down Display, or HDD. This has two modes, one for the HUD repeater and one for the tactical display. You can toggle between the two modes by pressing left control and R. When in tactical mode, the HDD will display navigation information when you're in the Navigation Master mode. Cycle between the two modes and press the space bar when you're in the tactical display showing navigation information. You can adjust the scale of the HDD by pressing equal to zoom in and minus to zoom out. Give it a try and press the space bar when done. In the bottom left corner of the HDD is the range scale. This indicates the representative ground distance of the line below the scale number. In the bottom right corner is your airspeed. In the center top of the HDD is a center carrot in line that indicates your course deviation. Your flight plan is indicated as a series of circles connected by lines. Each circle is a waypoint with a waypoint number inside the circle. The selected waypoint is filled in. You can cycle the selected waypoint by pressing left control and the tilde key. When a waypoint is selected, a line will connect your aircraft icon to the selected waypoint. Also on the HDD are rectangles that indicate airbases. The boxed airbase is your assigned landing airbase. The diamond indicates your landing initial point. This concludes this training lesson.